YouTube. So we have finished the mantle and I think it looks gorgeous. I just, um, maybe a few hours ago, uh, add the final coat of poly acrylic so that we can get that gorgeous shine. Uh, we do have, um, looks like we got four corbels that we got from Lowe's. A bunch of wood, including some trim pieces to finish it all up. And I think it looks fantastic. So we've gained all of this space on top so that we can go ahead and decorate for the holidays. Um, it looks beautiful. We finished this project. We probably stopped twice. So we finished this project in two days because you know you have to let everything dry so that you can go ahead and move forward. But this is part one of this vlog series for the fireplace, Empty Corners Home Stage 1. So there's going to be two more pieces and the first is going to be our um, update of our mantle. So we'll go ahead and have some decor up there and I'll show you how I did it with some finds I've gotten from several different places how I transform those so that you can see our mantle project completed and then of course the um, down here the footer portion will go ahead and also put an update down there so that you can see how we how that turned out so I think it looks fantastic um, it is still under maintenance although we have gone ahead and finalized the uh, major piece which was adding this mantle this wooden mantle that we painted this brilliant white color uh, it's a high reflective white and then like I said we added on a piece of polycrylic or oh, I'm sorry we painted on some polycrylic to give it that that shine and then some um, durability to last throughout the seasons so it's fall time right now so I will have fall decor up there and I'll show you how I did it in the next video. I am absolutely in love with this project and I hope that you all are also. This was the initial stage. We secured uh, two pieces of plywood cut to size because I wanted an overlip on the mantle just to expand it so I have more um, space to put decor to add my decor on top and then um, we would we put that one corbel up just to make sure that it, everything was angled properly which it was um, and then we used some real high quality uh, plywood as well so that we can do the fascia piece and as well as the top piece so that we have a smooth and uh, very secure uh, a portion that would actually show um, and we wanted to make sure that there was enough plywood underneath so that we can have a really thick base uh, to hold up uh, to all of the different seasons that we plan to use this for. Um, we also use construction grade adhesive to adhere the wood initially so that we can make sure that it stays in place for years. Um, and we secured it all down with these heavy pavers, uh, concrete pavers, so that we can make sure that it uh, was successful in that area as well. Uh, then we went ahead and we added, um, I did an initial coat of white high uh, resolution paint, white uh, high reflective paint. Um, and then I didn't show this part, but those seams that you see, I went ahead and caulked all of them. So it's all appears to be one seamless piece. I made sure that the paint was going in the direction that I wanted before I added a second layer and then here you see me adding the trim pieces just to finish off the entire place. We decided to secure that with some screws instead of finishing nails because we can always putty over those or put some wood and then we mitered all of our edges to make sure that they were at that perfect 45 degree angle as you can see and I am absolutely in love with this. I went ahead and and some distressing of the trim piece just to make it appear more of a worn, well-worn fireplace and a mantle so that it didn't look like something brand new, but it looked like something that had been there for years. And I was really proud of that. Um, so you can see a lot of the dings and things that I put in there. And then the screws, I, we made sure that we didn't put too many and we used 
construction adhesive uh, so that I can go ahead and backfill those uh, screw heads and they won't be noticeable at all. Uh, we use a total of four corbels, uh, all from Lowe's, and as well as all of the wood and the trim, as well as the nails or screws, were also from Lowe's. Just really excited about this piece, and I can't wait for the holidays to come so that I can go ahead and de decorate the way that I want. And then here you see the final project completed. Um, so this is the wood mantle that I have been dreaming of in my head. I had it already lined out. I knew what I wanted to do and it came out perfect. Um, and I went ahead and put on a thin coat of polycrylic just to make sure that it shined and it uh, held up so that it'll be durable for years to come. Uh, you will see me in a future videos updating that fireplace mantle with the different seasons. I have an update coming up, so you need to subscribe so that you can see that in about a week. Um, it'll be for fall.